Hi and welcome back. This is an updated video on the Aquarius Pro Valet machine. It's been used um, multiple times now and I've had it for a while. And I've, a couple of people have asked how I've been getting on with it. So the things that I've noticed is this connection here is a bit before you could push the connector in quite easily. Now it's a little bit stiff. It also sometimes leaks. Uh, sort of drips water out of here so I have to take it out put it back in take it out put it back in and then it's fine uh, the other thing that I noticed the other day was when I went to trigger this part for the for the water spray I could hear the pump running uh, but there's no water coming out of it which was just bizarre so I sort of took it turn it off took it took the lid off checked to see if there was any obstructions or any um any problems that way and what i found was these here are, are little valves they sort of got spring underneath there and they only go i don't know if you've ever seen it but they only move a little bit so both of these um and when you when you put the container it pushes into these and then the valves are supposed to open a little bit which allows the water flow and for some reason it just wasn't uh, getting the water and what I had to do. So every time I pushed down on this bit, the spray would work. And when I took my hand off, it would stop. It was a little bit cold that day. It wasn't sort of freezing. So in the end, what I'd done was, and this only thing I could think of doing I was out on the road, was I put a little bit of bodywork shampoo. Just because these rubbers, I think when they get uh, cold... They get really, really hard, so I put a little bit of bodywork shampoo on my finger and then rubbed it around both of them. And then, because I was at a customer's house, got a little bit of hot water, filled up the the tank itself, uh, with, and it was fine after that. Um, so it could have been that it just wasn't, it was just too cold, the seals were just too hard, and it uh, didn't go all the way down. But it was literally just... If I put my hand on it and pushed it a little bit, it'd work, take it off, it would stop. Um, and that's the first time it's done that. So I'll have to watch out for that. Um, and I think when once this machine, once it sort of starts being really uh, problematic with stuff, I think I'll probably replace it, but I don't know. I normally like to replace things like for like, because then you've got sort of spare parts, but I'm not so sure. Uh, with this machine because it's I think it's around about 450 pound at the moment so I might go um, for something a little bit cheaper but other than that it's still still working <laughs> 